from a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Oh, getting caught in the mist is a man that they'll never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame What's up guys? So I'm filming this in the truck because of course it's gonna start filming if fucking gardeners start showing up. So I'm back. Uh sorry it was like what two weeks? I only missed it for two weeks. I had to take care of some shit. Um a lot of shit snowballed and got worse real quick, but you know, we're past that. So I got laid off. Uh they started dicking me over and gave me all these excuses. Sorry about that, it was fucking hot. Start giving me all these excuses about, oh, um, we need you to do this and that, we need you to do these extra things, and pretty much they were just laying people off and then using me to get things where they need to be so that way they don't need any of us anymore. But, you know, fuck it, whatever. They sold out. They're gonna regret it. They're, there's no fucking way they're gonna be able to keep up with that much demand. So, fuck them, you know? When shit happens, you know, there's always something better around the corner. So yeah, I got laid off, and it was like the worst timing too, because it was, we had a trip planned the weekend after, or that weekend, to go to Vegas and just relax, and just me and my wife, and just drink and gamble. So I was kind of down, and then my wife said, you know what, fuck, let's just go. So we went, it was fun. I don't care, you guys are gonna think what you wanna think, but we drank, we hang up, we hung out. Uh, we had fun. We fucking hung out at some piano bars. We walked around and played Pokemon. It was cool, you know, like we just being happy, being ourselves, not giving a fuck. And then we started driving back and that's when it hit me. I was like, fuck, man. And I had an interview, but I just, I didn't hear from them and I was starting getting nervous, but then they called me back. And then they sent me in there for a drug test, passed the drug test. I don't know, yeah, passed the drug test and then, yeah, had a physical and then they called me back and they were like, hey, we're gonna offer you this much, which is probably the highest paying job I ever had, plus guaranteed overtime and then rotating Saturday, so that's an extra day I get to get paid. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm down. So I start that tomorrow, Tuesday. So I have to be there at six in the morning. It's gonna be hard. It's a roofing yard. So a roofers come, pick up the supply from there. Excuse me. And yeah, it's gonna be in the sun all day and I'm gonna get darker, but my wallet's gonna get fatter, so I really don't give a shit. But yeah, it was just a bunch of shit. Like, Layla got sick, I got sick, I got laid off, the truck started fucking up. Um, 
I don't know why, but I completely forgot. And then I've been driving around for like two weeks with expired tags on the Civic just because I, I totally forgot. So yeah, man, it was just a bunch of shit. And it really hit me hard, but I don't know, I was talking to my boy Tahoe, and by the way, thank you for everybody that reached out. In our element, Dungeon, Johnny, uh, <clears throat> Overlanding for Insanity, Jose. Just everybody that reached out, and my boy Tahoe. So thank you for everything, and thank you for like caring. But yeah, you know, like talking to people, I was, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna just be positive, I'm gonna be myself. I came to the conclusion that for 29 years, I've just been trying to make other people happy and other people rich and other people just, you know, to like me and, and I just want to be me and not give a fuck and it, I can't believe it took this long to finally realize that, but you know, whatever, like, you learn from your mistakes and you learn and you keep going on, but yeah, man, like, I'm happy now, things are gonna get better. The truck, I don't know, I might still sell it, but we'll see. Unless someone can trade me for a typhoon and I'll throw some cash on top of that. Or I find something good. Or someone offers me the right price for this, then I'll let it go. But besides that, I think it's gonna stick around for a little bit longer. But yeah, that's what happened. Sorry I went missing. I just been hanging out, trying to get shit together, trying to get shit straight, trying to get my priorities straight and figure out what I want in life and like as far as like for myself you know like be a better person be a better dad be a better husband just be able to provide and that's why i'm glad i got the job now because holy fuck like i'm gonna be raking it in and it's gonna feel fucking great to not be struggling or not go out somewhere and have to check your bank account but yeah and that's another reason i want to get like my priorities straight because i don't want to just be making bank and then spending more money and dropping more money on stupid shit like I want to realize what we want to do and besides the travel I know we want to travel for sure and we already have plans for that but as far as like the truck and all that I don't want to get bank and then put a gang of money into this thing and then realize like damn I could have done this to something else but I don't know I'll figure it out so yeah again sorry I went missing you know life happens you gotta stay positive come out stronger uh, as you can see I'm still a little bit sick I'm sorry if I, found, if I sound stupid still. But yeah, you know, just keep your head up and good things will come if you want them. I've never been one to pray. I've never been one to like really sit there and like be super positive. But I have to change that and start being positive because I'm my own worst enemy. And when shit goes bad, like it goes bad for me. Like a lot of people don't believe me, but my wife's seen it now and she's starting to realize it. Like, like, I have really bad luck. Like, when something bad happens, it's like, okay, cool. Like, it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. Or when something good is happening, it's just like, just something around the corner is going to fuck it up. But, you know, fuck that. Like, whatever. You got to keep smiling. You got to keep moving on. You got to keep being happy. Especially for my girls. Like, I don't want to put them down. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for sticking with the channel. It's weird. I went missing and I picked up more subscribers. So, thank you. Uh, sorry for the little vacation I took, but I'm back. <laughs> Uh, my schedule is Monday through Friday, but they're 10, 11 hour days, so I'll probably be posting on the weekends. And even that, there's rotating Saturdays there, which I don't mind because that's just more money for me. So, yeah, I'm gonna post as much as I can. But it's gonna be a lot of trips. The truck's definitely gonna change. Uh, while I was relaxing and trying to get my shit together, I started looking up a certain type of truck and yeah, the Bronco's gonna be a beast. God damn it. Oh, I'm like grinding over here. Yeah, the Bronco's gonna be a beast and I know what I wanna do with it and I know that for sure if I keep it, there's gonna be an engine swap and there's gonna be a lot more power, but we'll get into that right now, you'll see. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell your friends, channel's only gonna get better. And yeah, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Peace out. <clears throat> All right, so now that we got past that, so the channel will continue. I will be posting up like how it was before as frequent. Um, yeah, so with all that happening and all the good things coming our way right now, there's gonna be a lot of changes coming. So first we wanna 
you know, focus on getting some debt paid off, then the house and getting some shit done. We kind of want to travel, like flying and shit. We want to go to Iceland. We want to go to Japan. But that's like not anytime soon. But as far as the truck, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it. I love what it does. I don't, I really don't want to sell it unless someone can come up with the right amount. Then I will let it go. But for now, it's mine. And, you know, I keep on getting offers, but uh, I, I just, I put so much work into it. And I know I need a lot more, but still, it's, you know, something that I bought and got it to this. So, you know, unless someone can come up with that right amount, and I'm not going to say what that amount is, because once I hear it, I know. But I've got an offer six, I've got an offer eight, and it's just hard. It's hard to let it go. But if I hear that right amount, I'll definitely let it go because I don't need anything, but I do, I would like something a bit newer, like a Raptor or like a Ram Rebel, just something newer and that way we can go on longer trips, still have off-road capability, but still be able to smash on the freeway and get to where we need to be. I love this thing, it has power, but not the power that I'm used to. So, I don't know, maybe a project car will come later and I'll keep both of these, but for now, definitely gonna add some more power to this. So, I started talking to some Ford guys, started talking to some dealership guys, and I'm thinking of either going a brand new 351 crate, slapping that bad boy in, or going fucking insane and doing a new peyote, but that's gonna be fucking hell. But I don't know, we'll see. I just want more power out of it. Like, I know it's a big fucking heavy pig, but I just need the power. I love the power. So, yeah. So, thanks for sticking with us. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everybody that reached out. Uh, all the people that I mentioned, thank you. Really appreciate you guys' uh, friendship and staying true. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Keep watching, please. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Truck's only gonna get better. Or who knows, maybe we'll get something new. But yeah, for now, uh, we're back. Everything's good. And things are only gonna get better. So, to my previous employer, fuck you. And yeah, it's time to make some real money now. So yeah, thank you for watching.